Feel Good System awards children gold stars for good behaviour that can earn them treats. Set up something like a big star chart for him. And ov obviously we'll have to do one for Paloma as well. When you get five stars, you can have a Harry Potter suite or a Harry Potter um, collectible card or something. Focus on all the good things and stick those stars up all over it, you know, for everything. Mm. Just say, I can't believe you remembered to take your shoes off. That's fantastic. Mm. And stick a star up. What I also suggest is a warning system. So they're given an opportunity to make a choice. Let's use the football system of red and yellow cards. So you, yellow card, mate. <laughs> OK, so you've got a, chance, a choice here. You continue with this behaviour, you get the red card. You know the red card means you don't go out with your friends. But you ha there's an assumption there that your children are horrific. And I mm. think, really, if you give them the benefit of the doubt from time to time, if you actually believe they're going to be good rather than believing the worst, you might be surprised. I suggest that this afternoon you take some time for yourselves and I will babysit your children. That would be fun. <laughs> That will sure. be fun. One, two, three, pop! Karen embarks on the babysitting booking from hell. The kids are off the leash, and Karen is soon racing to keep up. Those are the good shoes to be doing that with. Woo! Oh, watch those feet. Danny, come over here. You're all right in there. OK. OK, run. Do you want to have a race? Do you want to she race? tries to reimpose no, order. No, no, no. We're going to beat them. We're going to beat these boys. Absolutely. But the boys have other ideas. <laughs> oh, boys, what's the thing? What's to go all the way to the end? What's that? <laughs> Yeah, be careful, because it's very slippery. Careful, Stefan. Careful, you be careful. Now the kids are ruining their clothes, so the Karen decides to give them choices. OK, we have three choices here. You tell me which of the three you want to do. Are you ready? Yeah. You have to be listening, though. Number one, do you want to have a game of football? Girls against boys. Number two, do you want to have a race? No. Or number three, do you want to go home? No. no. Which one? Which one? No. Three choices. Which one's no. going to work? Demi has taken a tumble, and it's home time. Can Karen get them out of the park swiftly? You have to go on every single thing on the way out, OK? And the first one to be finished and at the gate to meet me is the winner. Good, you're over. way ahead there, Stefan. Karen's tactic works, and she ships them out in an orderly fashion. Let's go. Stefan! <laughs> Graham and Jacqueline are making the most of their time together. For the first time in weeks, I'm just starting to relax. And back home, everything's under control. Okay. Until the sweet van arrives. What for? To get sweets. You do need sweets. I don't think you do, do you? Uh, yeah. Everyone, I think what you need is lunch. Here, there's money. Here's a whole bunch of money. That. You guys are rich. Show me a holiday. What's it for? Show me, show me, show me, show me, show me, it's for holiday. It's for holiday. It's not. Is it? Yeah, but you don't open it up there because it's your dad's, isn't it? I know. I, I don't, no, 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 no. I, I can't touch anybody else's money. Can I take 20 pounds because I've got... <laughs> Fess is out. Fess is out. The dog's out. How did the dog get out? <laughs> While Karen's occupied, right. Stefan does a runner with the loot. I'm oh. money. I'm not worried. But I am wondering what, they, what they're up to. Come here. Here, hey, 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 sweetie. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Sorry. What are you doing? I, listen, what did I say to you? I said, no, sweeties. Where's your change? If somebody says don't do something, you really can't do it. Are you going to tell my mum and dad? I'm not going to tell your mum and dad this time. But do you think that in future, when your mum and dad say no to something, you could really do what they say? You couldn't do that. Or you could do that. You, you could do what they say. I knew it. I think it was fine. Nothing that I wouldn't expect from four children of this type of age. We had one significant rule-breaking moment <laughs> when they, they found some money and went out to the ice cream van when I'd specifically said that that wasn't on the cards for today. Um, but we talked about it afterwards, and, and they now will probably do it all over again. <laughs> the next day in Beckton, there's another rule-breaking moment, and the youngest of the bright children has earned a smack. Oh, 
Michael knows he's not allowed to play with the little football in the kitchen. He started to play football in the kitchen. I told him he had to play in the hall. He said, I don't want to play it in a stupid hall. And I smacked him for being rude to me for saying it's a stupid hall. And uh, he wasn't very happy. And uh, he's playing in the hall, quite happily. Oh, Alan and Elspeth believe smacking works as more than just a short-term discipline measure. Smacking is an immediate payback for them for something they've done wrong. They give an incentive not to do that again. The incentive, sure, is just a fear of punishment. But as we do that, we also explain why we've done it. So later on, they'll learn to love the right behaviour and do it just out of fear of punishment. But if it's fear of punishment that stops them annoying their older their brother and sister, that'll do for the time being. <laughs> that'll do for the time being. Just as similarly, if people don't rob stores because they think they'll get caught, well, that's fine. I'm happy to live in a society where, where robbers don't do things because they're afraid of being caught. In Harrow, Amber and Kay are holding a family meeting to unveil the new regime to Truant Palomo. So no more smacking, no more shouting, no, no, no more screaming. not going to smack you anymore. Do you want to get lots of stars on your chart? Yeah. You be kind to your sister and you don't jump around on the furniture. Yeah. And you sit down quietly when you're having your dinner. Yeah. Then you get stars on your chart and when you've got lots of stars you get a, a treat. What happens if, if we break oh. the rules? Ah. Say you started yeah. jumping around on the furniture and yeah. Mummy asked you not to do that. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think should happen to you if you did? You have to get a smack. You... No, apart from smacking, we're not going to smack anymore. What would you choose? Send me to my bedroom. Yeah? Yeah. What about you, True? I went... What would you choose to happen if you didn't, if you weren't good? A no chocolate. So far, so oh good. Mummy, don't. Really but Karen's fiendish system means parents get punished too. So if mommy is angry all the time, what do you have to do for mommy then? Smack her bottom. Nah, no, no more smacking. No smacking allowed. No yeah. more smacking. In Scotland, Jacqueline and Graham are revealing the new system. As from today, it's a new start. Various new rules, right? But the main one will be there'll be no shouting and no smacking from mum and dad anymore. Right, it stops. There is other rules, right? We've got various things that we're going to try. Oh. Right, and we're, got, and we're going to stick to them, aren't we? <laughs> the main one is, is called a star chart. And if you get five stars in one day, <laughs> right, you get a wee treat. Yeah! Right? This is what we want you to do every day, right? For you to earn your stars and to get your wee treats. <laughs> right, so, Stefan, we need to see you being kind to your brothers <laughs> and your sisters. <laughs> Right? <laughs> so that means no winding up, no going walking past them and thumping them. Like this. Right, no, I don't need you to show exactly me. Exactly like that. Ross, being kind to the dog, you specially. All right? If I show you a yellow card, right, that means... Good boy. And the red card, that means you're punished and you're well, not necessarily grounded, but it means that I'm going to take something away from you that you enjoy doing. Like, right, if you're watching cartoons... Turn it off, and if I'm playing me a toy, take it off me, and I'm going to... Good boy. You be polite to Mum and Dad. <laughs> you be kind to your brothers and your sister. <laughs> That's a hard one, yep. Yeah. you got to do it. If you don't stick to your rules, we think our punishment's for you. Yeah. If we don't stick to our rules, you can think up punishments for us. Yeah. We thought you might like that wee bit. With two households trying out her recipe for happy families, Karen now faces the toughest part of her assignment, to convince the brights that smacking equals violence. Some children who have suffered true violence have been trussed up in black plastic bags in baths. That's violence. What I do to my children is not violence. I'm fed up of uh, people admitting, oh, I smack my children out of guilt. And I, I, want, I want to talk to someone who has essentially made them feel that way. Karen, hello. Mr. hello. hello. Nice hello. to see you. Nice to meet you. Karen knows she's got her work well, cut out. Sort of thing. Do you find it difficult, though, having them here all the day without a break? Um, yes, it is hard work having them all day. I mean, I know that if they weren't 
if we didn't have certain levels of discipline, then it would be terrible. Mm. When you, you say that you smack them for this, this punishment, this is a preordained sort of rule, so you get a smack if you do. Do you find that it actually is off-putting? I mean, do you think that the, the smacking is effective in that context? I think smacking has been an effective tool uh, more, more with the younger ones. Yeah. Uh, I, I wouldn't think about smacking the older ones now, but certainly with the younger ones, it is a definite deterrent. And it is the younger ones that are really best at annoying. And I think the knowledge that they are going to get a smack really, really does help. But I just wonder, like how you, I mean, it must be very hard to, to, to hit something that you love. It's a very stylized form of hitting. You know, it's not a wide, it's not, it doesn't vary from time to time. You see, we all know what's going to happen, a slap probably on the upper leg. Um, perhaps, you know, we've just been used to it now for 15 years. Perhaps we've been desensitized to violence, perhaps that's what the other <laughs> side would say. Because, um, you know, in studies of children who have been regularly disciplined with, with smacking, something like 93% of them say that they find it an appalling form of punishment because they feel humiliated and fearful and they feel scared. But I they find that feel... fascinating because I've talked to lots of friends about this, obviously, yeah. and almost all of them have said, and in fact, I can't think of anyone who has said, anything other than, well, I was smacked and it didn't do me any harm. Very difficult to... to, to the Brights aren't convinced that a no-smacking approach is workable. With six children in the house, I think, to keep track of who's been... who's been grounded, who's not allowed to use the PlayStation, who's not allowed sweeties tomorrow, who's not allowed... <laughs> I think I would just... I think my head would pop. Because you were smacked infrequently as a child and you don't remember it traumatising you, then you don't have any real concerns. I don't have any problems. I wish I didn't have to do it. Yeah. Every time I wish I didn't have to do it. Um, but then again, I know I have got to do it because that's the method that we have, we have chosen to follow together. Yeah. We're united on that. And our aim is to bring up children that are, um, that in their heart want to do the right thing. It went very well. It's, it's um, a family, obviously, who, who believe in smacking as a form of punishment. I'm, I'm slightly dis disappointed that they don't want to consider other alternatives because it's clear that they have a very strong discipline policy in the family. But, but I rather think that much in the same way that smacking is used in this family as a deterrent, um, a punishment could or a penalty could be used in much the same way. I'm happy with our household where it is. We'll stick with the smacking. And I won't be rushing out to buy red and yellow cards. It's day two of the no-smacking regime, and the winds are finding life surprisingly harmonious. The difference I've noticed is they seem to be more calmer. The older two seem to be grasping it, uh, more so Ross. Uh, the last two days, it's like living with a different boy. It really is. Don't get me wrong, there's going to be times where he's going to go back and revert back. Uh, but I'm prepared for that. It's working so far. I'm finding it quite easy not to smack them now. No, I'll let Kelly deal with them. She's got them. You go around picking all the bits of paper up. The kids are even tidying up their own mess. But Graham's wise to their game. It's mainly because of the gold stars. Um, I mean, as you've seen Ross and Steph constantly asking, do we get a gold star for that? Hopefully that'll wear off and they'll just do it naturally. Um, the other thing is, the, they know there's going to be a change in the house. Um, and hopefully if they see that I'm willing to change and not smack them, then they're willing to change for the better. So that's the main reason, it's because of the gold stars. Have you got? It's I'm loving it. I can sit back and relax. But a reward system brings new problems. Yeah. You stole one of Kelly's to put onto yours. Has my stars? No, you haven't got a treat yet, sweetheart. Wonderful there. Be kind to the dog, Steph. I thought be kind to the dog, well, Steph. Right, you explain why I love Ross more than you. Very well, because you've definitely had more stars. Because he's doing more things and he's been a good boy all the time. I need a star. No, all you want is your treat, and you don't get that. You need to deserve your treat. You need to earn it. I need it. Oh, so perhaps, so. I need it. 
this is the second night in a row that the kids have slept in bed and it's been great. There's not been one got up yet. And it's just